what the heck is going on guys welcome to your eighth computer networking tutorial and in this video what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about a client and a host because these are some of the two most commonly used terms in computer networking so it's probably a good idea if we understand what the heck they mean so in the last video we talked about basically how your computer looks at a website on the internet so basically what happens is your PC we'll say it's uh... we'll just say it's a mac for this example what it's going to do is it's going to type in the browser i don't know the new boston and the new boston server wow that's a ugly looking server a server basically like i said is a special computer that anyone can access we'll say this is a web server so anyone can access it what it's going to do is it's going to be like hey web server do you have any of those web files that I want to look at and the web server is going to be like why indeed I do governor and then it's going to go ahead and send those files over and then your browser hopefully Chrome is going to interpret that file and turn it into a nice pretty looking web page well in this relationship we would call the PC the client the PC or the Mac or the laptop whatever your home computer is the client and the web server is the host so why do we call this a client and why do we call this the host well you can remember this because whenever a computer your PC gets a file it's called the client and you remember this because whenever a client goes into a business the client is the one who's getting the service the client gets the stuff and in computer networking they get either a file or data of some sort now the host which is the web server that's the computer that gives the data or gives the file so it gives it away and you remember this because maybe you're hosting a party at your house you're giving away food to your guests you're giving away crap so basically that's what a client is the computer that gets something and the host is the computer that gives it away so again whenever we're talking about this in computer networking we aren't talking about you know getting food or you know getting business services we're talking about getting data so one last time just to recap whenever you want to view a website on your computer you type it in and you request it from the web server or the host and the host is basically going to give the data to the client so the client gets data or a website file from the host wham bam thank you ma'am boom roasted 